it came about and I was staying in one of these high up um, Auckland apartments I think at the end of Queen Street I was looking out into the evening sky and there were all these head office and hotel signs twinkling away and I thought oh yes there's the people that sent us the insurance bills you know there's the people that set the interest rates and gosh this really is New Zealand's version of the head office in the big city down at street level you know there seemed to be like a really rapid pace of change and a sense of city making itself up for the 21st century as a sort of global city. When I'm photographing, I'm responding to language out and out in the world. I, th I think also I'm I'm quite interested in other people's pictures. I, I feel like I like bringing together pictures within my pictures. The word modern really attracted me. Um, it seems like such a hopeful word, you know, and it's maybe a slightly outdated word, but it's still you know making a claim. You know, I'm up here. I'm contemporary and that seemed like quite an important word for Auckland. This picture here which is um, taken from an apartment in Nelson Street originally um, started because I liked the uh, the word clear point which is in the corner. It seems a very photographic sort of word and while I was making it that man started um, walking up and down doing his weights and somehow he's become the clear point of, of the work. You know, the people who are in, in these pictures, you know, really humanise the buildings in a nice way and, and actually make you aware that everyone lives these really intense individual lives in the city. But what you don't think about is actually you're in the middle of this, you know, kind of vast area of concrete, glass and motorways. You don't think about the big thing of what's surrounding you. You're just involved in your own little, you know, important life. 